Hey guys, thanks for joining us from Legend Gaming. In this video, I'm excited to bring you a comparison between the M1911 and the P08 pistols in Battlefield 1. So these are two of the earliest pistols that you get because you get the Red Baron P08 and the Harlem Hellfire M1911. So a bunch of people have these unlocked right at the start of the game and a lot of them you don't even need to buy. The POA you do, but the M1911 is pretty much given to every single class. So these are two of the pistols that people will gravitate most to. In this video, I'm going to try to help you understand which weapon is better for you and try to give you an idea of what I think is the best weapon personally. So you're gonna hop right into the stats first, for the M1911, that does 35 maximum damage up close, making it a three shot kill, which is pretty good but it's only a three shot kill until about seven or eight meters as the damage drop off starts at six meters and goes down relatively linearly until 15 damage at 32 meters, which makes it a seven shot kill at that range. So 32 meters actually isn't that far. That's kind of where the damage drop off for some other weapons actually starts, um, namely the medic rifles and some other weapons. So. A 7 shot kill at that range is not that good and it's going to be a 5 shot kill at around 15 meters. So this weapon is really only good for extreme close quarters but up close it does do very well. So it has a 299 round per minute rate of fire which is not overwhelmingly fast but it will get the job done, be able to take your enemy out pretty quickly. It has a 250 meters per second muzzle velocity which is quite slow and it will be very hard to hit targets at long range. The reload speed is ridiculously fast at 1.16 seconds for the short reload and then a much slower 1.7 second long reload. It has 8 bullets in the magazine which is notably one less than the P08. Its recoil up is 2.3. Now this doesn't necessarily mean anything to you guys but um, it is basically the upwards recoil that you get every time you pull the trigger and you'll just basically be able to see how this compares to the P08. So, and the hip fire is a 0.8, which is the same as the P08. They both have very tight hip fire. So, the P08 does 30 max damage until 12 meters, which makes it a pretty much four shot kill until about 16 meters, which is it's slightly better than the M1911. And then it does 15 damage at 32 meters. So, around that 15 meter to about 20 meter range, the P08 is actually going to do more damage than the M1911, but they do have the same fire rate overall so the time to kill basically at up close is going to be faster on the M1911 and then at their maximum range of 32 meters they're both going to be 7 shot kills. Now what makes the P08s only slightly better in this department is that it has 9 rounds in the magazine so at that medium range when you're going to need to get 4, 5, 6, even 7 bullets in your enemies you're going to have one more bullet to work with. And the recoil up is only 1.5, which is actually like almost half of that of the M1911 because one recoil up is like the standard. So you can't really take that. Um, the numbers don't really add up, but it's roughly like half the amount of recoil as the M1911. And while the M1911's recoil isn't overwhelming, the P08 is much easier to spam because of its slightly lower recoil. Now they both have the same hip fire which makes them pretty ideal up close if you just want to hip fire to finish off an enemy and both these pistols are very good for that. If you have an enemy weak maybe with a sniper rifle or something you want to try to take him out um, it'll do the job with these weapons pretty well. The only downside is that most snipers do around 80 damage up close so if you switch to these weapons at around 30 meters you're not going to finish off the enemy and you need to hit them twice. That's why when I use this sniper I recommend a weapon like the Mars Automatic that is able to do 23 minimum damage because that allows you to finish off those kills pretty much every time after you get a sniper hit marker. But just as an overall pistol, both these pistols work very well. And again, notably the P08's reload is 1.35 up close, which is slightly shorter than the M1911's and then quite a bit longer for the long reload at 2.05. So overall the P08 has a longer reload than the M1911 and if we look at these stats, the M1911 is better up close, but it does have less rounds in the magazine and more recoil. Whereas the P08 is better at sort of that in between medium range at a slight interval, but it has a larger magazine, um, faster bullet velocity, and less recoil. 
So basically, this is just up to you which one you think is best. I personally prefer the PO8 and run it on most of my classes. Even though the gameplay of the PO8 is relatively limited in here, I use it a lot, and the majority of the gameplay I get with that weapon is just kind of using it individually rather than sort rather than like with other weapons. So I do you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to drop a like down below and subscribe if you are new here and tell me you guys like to see in the future. So that's what it is for you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.